This video today is to show you the calibration procedure for the SW series. I'm going to be using an SW5. When you're calibrating, make sure that you do look for the proper capacity of your skill and know what actual skill you're working with. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the platter on the top of the scale just so we can locate inside here in this port right here there's a screw at the bottom this is to remove the calibration plate which is located underneath the scale so after we remove this screw from the top we want to flip that around get this screw out and you'll see that there's one more screw located underneath to hold this plate in now we go ahead and we remove this screw in order to get rid of this plate that's in here to access that calibration switch right in there so what we're going to want to do is just hold this in flip this around while turning the scale on you'll see one on the display and then cal one now we're ready to calibrate so let's put our platter back on the scale so get it in there nice and secure all right now what we're going to want to do first is navigate to cal 10. you do so by pushing the tear key until you see Cal 10 on your display. In order to enter into the setting, press the zero key. Now it says unit and one is flashing. One is for pounds, which is good. We want to calibrate in pounds today. Make sure that you know which type of scale you're working with with your SW to know whether it's kilograms or pounds. Zero is for kilograms, one is for pounds. Now you press the zero key. It says kappa, that's the capacity. This is flashing zeros and then five. If you wanted to change this number, you would just use the tear key to move to the right and if you wanted to change the number you would use the unit key in order to change that number we want to keep it at five that is our capacity with the scale we're working with today so let's press the zero key now you can see n slash d this is your middle weight that you're going to be using to calibrate this is two pounds as once again just make sure that with your capacity you know what the middle weight should be it should always be a third of the capacity so now we have it set to that that's fine zero key Unit decimal place, as you see here on the capacity, five pounds by 0 .002. So there's three decimal places, that's good. Press the zero key. 1D shows the division, which is 0 .002, as I showed on the capacity for the previous menu. This is correct. You wanna make sure that this is matching up with your division. So as soon as that's good, you press the zero key. Dual, this is not a dual range scale, so zero is good. Press that, tear. Not using that, so a zero is good. Press zero, back to Cal 10. Now we're gonna to navigate to Cal 3. This is our actual calibration setting. So zero in order to enter in, zero is now showed on the display. This is your zero calibration. So now make sure there's no weight on the platter. Just press the zero key once. Once you press the zero key, it'll show your raw counts. As you see, your raw counts are stable. It'll go to ND up. Now you put that middle weight that you just set up in the Cal 10, which is two pounds for our scale today. So I'm gonna place two pounds on the platter. After I have my two pounds on, I'm gonna press the zero key again. Shows your raw counts, bounce around right around the same number, which is good. Then it'll move on to full. Now we remove the two pounds, we place our full capacity on, which is five pounds for this particular model. And then we press the zero key. You wanna see your raw counts bounce around a bit, which is normal, as I said, wait till stabilizes and they'll say ND down. Now we go back to the middle weight for our three point calibration. Two pounds again, press the zero key. Now we see our weight, now our row counts are good. And done. Shows Cal 3 on the menu. Now all you wanna do is push the power key off, turn the scale off. Now to test your weight, just turn the scale simply back on wait for it to count up. Once we get to stabilize zero, test your weight. Place one pound on, one pound steady, two pounds, two pounds is good. And now let's check five pounds for full capacity. Five pounds on the money, we're fully calibrated. And the last step that you would like to do so make sure you turn the scale off, make sure you get that off, flip this around again, place that calibration switch back in. Once we have the calibration switch back in, make sure we get the screws back in the right place. Flip that around, 
wall screw down in the hole. And that's it. We're all set. Fully calibrated.